David Ken here. We're looking at section 5.3, solving problems involving EMF, internal resistance, and other electrical quantities. In this question, we have a cell with EMF epsilon and internal resistance R. So this is our battery modeled with a, a, an ideal EMF and a little resistor. It delivers a current to a small electric motor. In total, 450 coulombs of charge flows into the motor. Nine, as a result, 9,000 joules are delivered to the motor, but as a consequence of the internal resistance, 1,800 joules are dissipated in the cell. We want to use this information to find the EMF of the cell. Well, if 450 coulombs of charge are delivered to the motor, they must have gone through the internal resistance as well. You can't go through here without going through there. There's only one path. So both 450 coulombs um, pass through so the 450 coulombs pass through both devices. The total energy dissipated would be the sum of the two 9,000 plus 1,800, or 10,800 joules. Now the EMF of the cell, or the voltage of the cell, would then be the energy delivered per unit charge. And because it's the same charge as delivering energy to both devices, it's the same 450 charges delivering a total of 10,800 joules. So this is just 10,800 joules divided by 450 coulombs, which works out to 24 volts.